All right, guys. Today we're gonna be working on 11-7 problem solving multi-step problems. So they're they're gonna be about multiplying fractions, and we're just gonna work on solving word problems. That's all we're gonna do today. It's stuff we already know. We just really haven't seen a lot of word problems. So the first problem we had today was Jason and his sister are going to install carpet in the bedrooms. Jason's bedroom is 10 feet by 12 feet. His sister's bedroom is 9 feet by 15 feet. And what I did is I split this question up into two parts. And then if you were a girl, you had a certain question. And if you were a boy, you had a different question. So the first thing we're going to focus on is we're going to focus on the girl's questions. So the girl's question was, which bedroom will have more carpet? And then how much more? So what is that asking us? Is there any hidden questions inside of the girl's question? In order to solve the girl's question, what do we need to solve? Uh, Go ahead, Jonathan. Okay. What do you have, Charm? Okay, but what is the hidden question? What I mean by hidden question, it's asking us, which bedroom will have more carpet? So inside that hidden question is we have to find out th how much carpet Jason's bedroom needs and his sister's bedroom needs, okay? And how we do this is we have to find the area. And remember, area is length times width. Or if I had a little rectangle here, I would have my length and my width. And to find out what's missing in between is we multiply it. So, for instance, if I had a cube, let's say I had four little blocks and I had two here and this became a two here. Two times two would equal four. So my area of this cube would be four. And if it was in feet, it would be four feet squared. Okay, now that's just a little example on the side to help us. So what should happen in order to solve for the girls, which bedroom will have more carpet and how much more? The first thing we have to solve for is how much carpet does Jason's bedroom need? In order to find that, I need to do area equals length times width. And then I need to go in here and find my length and width out of the word problem. So I'm going to put area equals... And if I scroll back up here and I look at Jason's bedroom, I know that it was 10 feet by 12 feet. So area is going to equal 10 times 12. And I know that 10 times 12 is 120. So the area of Jason's bedroom is 120 feet squared. Now remember we have square feet because... Let me use a different color so it stands out. It's the same as if we did feet times feet would equal feet squared. Okay? That's how we get feet squared because 10 feet times 12 feet equals 100 feet squared. So the second hidden question we have to find out before we can answer which bedroom will have more carpet is how much carpet is in his sister's bedroom. Okay, and I know that area equals length times width. So then I need to go back in the problem and I need to look at his sister's bedroom. And if I go back and look in the problem, guys, we know that it said the bedroom was 9 feet by 15 feet, right? So then I need to fill that into my formula that I have down here. So I have 9 feet by 15 feet. So that would be 9 times 15. You need something? There? Okay. That's fine. So what is 9 times 15? How about this? What is 9 times 10? 90. And then we all know that 5 times 9 is 45. So what is 90 plus 45? 135. Now remember, guys, what my what is my unit of measurement for 135? 
feet squared, right? So how does that look so far? We're doing good, right? So now if we scroll up, so now what was the second part of the question? How much more? So first was which bedroom will have more carpet? Now if I look between Jason's bedroom and their sister's bedroom, I know his sister's bedroom has more carpet, right? How much more carpet though? 15 squared, right? So I could say, Jason's sister bedroom has 15 feet squared more carpet. Than Jason's. Okay. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. All right. So next thing I'm going to, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the boys question. Okay. But how I'm going to do this is I got to go to a new page. I'm pretty sure. Let me figure out the question. If carpet costs four dollars per f square feet, how much will it cost to carpet Jason's bedroom? Oh, I might be able to fit this on here, boys. All right. So if I, oh, we gotta scroll. We gotta scroll. I'm pushing you. I know. Make sure none of those laptops fall off, guys. So if we look at the boys' question, it was if carpet costs four dollars per square, how much will it cost to carpet Jason's bedroom? What is the hidden question inside of that question? What is it asking us to solve that? What do we have to solve to solve our overall question? What do you have, Damien? Um, we do, um, well, it says, like, his room length, you, uh, multiply by the get 120. So we have to find the length if we didn't already do that, right? So that would be the hidden question. So I'm going to say, and I'm just going to copy from up here because we've already done this. Area equals length times width, yep. and an area would be 10 times 12, because Jason's bedroom is 10 feet by 12 feet, and then that would be area equals 120 feet squared, okay? Oh, what happened to my pants? Oh, well. <laughs> and I'm recording this. That's funny. All right. So then, now that I know how big of an area is the carpet in Jason's bedroom, now I can solve my actual problem, right? So my actual problem was, if the carpet costs $4 per square foot, how much would it cost to carpet Jason's bedroom? So what would I need to multiply? Go ahead, Hayden. So I would have 120 times 4, right? And what is... What is 4 times 12? 48. I bring my 0 over. That gives me a 480, okay? And then what unit is that? Is that feet squared or is that going to be cost? Cost, right? So we're going to put money. So it would cost... Four hundred and eighty dollars to carpet Jason's room. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? How do we feel about that? Good. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I want you guys to do guided practice one, two, three, but I'm going to have to flip my page so I can write this down. Okay. Cause I'm out of room. So I'm going to do 
guided practice. And that's going to be on page 268. And that's going to be 1 through 3. And then you're going to do... Independent practice in groups of two. Okay, and we'll do that on page 268 through 269. 269, and we'll do numbers 4 through 12. So after you get your guided practice checked, you can find somebody... <laughs> to work with okay do we have any questions concerns what do you got Blake no you don't have to work with somebody